I have a nanner on my shirt. I don't know if I. No, we so. just call that a banana. Oh, yeah. not a nanner. Not a nanner. <laughs> Oh, hey, welcome to another, another, <laughs> it's not that episode yet, another episode of What's Sweet Fuck. Fuck. I am Nicola Fodi. And I'm Megan Tonjes. And we're here to give you all, all things, things fuckworthy. Fuck wow. Oh, I got shit in my, I'm going to use you guys as a mirror. Got it. We're currently live streaming with our Patreon BBs right here. Wow, wish you were here, but you're not because you didn't pay us. Guess what? You didn't become a Patreon baby, so you couldn't join us. But what you can do is become a Patreon baby right now at patreon.com slash whatthesweetfuck and then watch the recorded version. Yeah, don't miss out. Love ya. So what are you here for today, Beeb? Why am I always the first? Sis, I was the first last time. Ooh, fuck you, bitch. I, I hate you. You want to fuck me? I know. I'm here. I, I just remembered it's your video so I can pick something more complicated. I'm here for this little dog getting a rub down outside of a club. Oh my god. Oh, I love it. Look at him. Just a bunch of drunk people rubbing this dog outside. Are any of them going to adopt him? Don't know. I just said, oh my god, and the caption just said, oh my god. Oh my god, he's so happy. I love this. I wish, you know what, instead of drunk people starting fights in bars and like, whatever the fuck they do when they get out of them. I wish there was just a station where like you could just sit down with some animals and love them and have conversations and sober up a little bit before you get in your Uber or your Lyft. I, I just wish that that was an actual thing that was happening because I feel like the dogs would be happier, the people would be happier. I would be happier. Yeah. I would probably go out to bars actually. Mm. I wouldn't be drinking, but I would be petting dogs. So oh my God. I mean that's me at like any gathering where there's a dog or a pet anyway. That is true. Either there, by the food table, or by the trash cans. <laughs> Convenience. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like hanging out with something. like individuals. I was gonna say something about yeah, you're hanging out at the trash bins <laughs> and how like it must feel like family, but I decided to be of the Lord today because this highlight is as a children's age. You love me today? Popping. A little more than usual? Did or? I say that? I'm gonna tell you what I'm here for. I wish you would. I'm gonna read the, <laughs> I knew this was one. By reading the title, oh, you laughed. I laughed out loud. Yeah. We were in Target together. We were. This video is sponsored by Target. No, it's not, but I wish I it was. Target, reach wish. out. Oh my God, let us start filming these videos in a Target. <laughs> Snake slithers into Arkansas school, comma, bites principal. <laughs> Fucking Disney Matilda ass movie is this? Like, I don't know if this is like a well liked principal, but like in my high school, granted if it wasn't like a poisonous snake, we yeah. would have rejoiced. I hope the principal's okay. I liked my principal. Oh, I think the one that I had in middle school ended up being my principal in high school too, because I think he transferred over. Mm. Mr. Mulcahy, what's up? Remember me in sixth grade when I missed a month of school because I had my gallbladder out and you were super chill about it? I appreciate you. <sighs> Don't appreciate the choir teacher that told my entire class that I'd hepatitis, even though I didn't. I just had my gallbladder out because I had pancreatitis. But appreciate you. Think that's a violation of a HIPAA law somewhere. But uh, Principal Mulcahy, you're dope. I think you're retired now, but I appreciate you. Also, fuck that guidance counselor. It's always like the last year of high school or college that someone comes in and they're like, oh, you didn't meet this one little requirement. And I'm like, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm out. I'm gone. They Why didn't you my, tell me this in the beginning of the year? I'm, I, I'm, it's your job to pay attention to this so that you can direct me into the right classes at the beginning of every year. I'm not staying, so I'm out. I don't even remember my principal's name in high school. Is that bad? My, I remember my guidance counselor's name because her first name was very long. It was Kamako Kalani. I love it. Yeah. I love it. That's it. That's all. Paris. Have you heard any news about Paris? recently like, just maybe like an addition to their cities that makes something a little easier but maybe a little more awkward in like a public scenario they put see this little thing here it looks like a trash can it's yeah. not oh. it's a urinal <sighs> oh, no. it says nope those aren't mailboxes paris rolls out sidewalk urinals <laughs> there's just a, a boat Sir. full of people He's just taking it, taking the piss. First of all, before I say this, <laughs> let me firstly say that before oh, I, I get comments, it. before I get comments about, no, this is necessary, this is important, I just want to give you my immediate reaction, which is, I need to ask some questions. Number one, are there urinals available for people that do not have penises? Oh, you're right. And secondly, 
how do they feel about public breastfeeding? I have questions about genitalia in public in general and how that works and how you're not constantly terrified. I mean, it's not the US, but like you're not yeah. constantly terrified you're gonna put on the fender list because you're pulling your dick out, even if it's into a box on the side of the river. My first thought, yeah. which maybe says something about my psyche, mm. but I'm like, what if like a murderer was hiding in the urinal, waiting to get peed on and just cuts the dick off? It's like you read all of my old fan fictions. I have another question. What if a snake <gasps> is sitting inside? Ooh, and you're just, the principal of a school. And you're the principal of a school <laughs> and you don't have a job anymore because you know, you're just, you're, you're healing from your injuries. Take a piss in a box. <laughs> Take just, a piss in a box, yeah. Look at how convenient that looks though. Piss in a box. Like I know the feeling. See girls, like, you, you just don't have this the, the experience of like, oh, there's, I really gotta go and there's the side of a wall or like a bush. I can just, no. if I need to, I can do it. Nope. You don't have that. No, we don't. Yeah. And, uh... So maybe if this had, have you seen those pictures of the female or they the They try to give us these little, these little funnels that yeah. we can like scoop up in our food. Oh, those and, like, two. But I'm thinking of ones that like the urinal goes out so you can squat over it mm. and just, here, let me give a live demonstration. This is the, the urinal for vaginals, right? Okay. Here it is. Vaginals? Here. Comes out. This is where you, you put your pee spot, okay? And you just do this. Okay. And then you just give, oh. it, give it the little tink tink, the little, little tink tinkle. Tink. And then that's it, you're done. I don't know about Wait, the but wiping situation. How are you wearing? Are you wearing pants? Or are you wearing? Oh no, a you're. Shirt? Oh no, you're. You want me to demonstrate that too? Yes. You're. You better hope that your underwear doesn't fall down in the middle of it. You're of your here, hand. right? Okay. And the, but you know your whole ass is oh, out. Oh, so you, especially from a fat vagina, you mm -hmm. have to like be oh, able to my dick. Pull, girl. You have to be able to pull it down. Yeah, like all the way. So it's got to go down under the ear. Listen. Key problems. I'm just gonna say. Vagina urinals, they're not gonna be the move in Paris. They're not gonna be no. the next, you know, awakening. Well, nothing, people disrespect the vaginas so often. I mean, they don't care about us. They don't care about vaginas. They don't care about the treatment of our titties. They honestly don't even care about the treatment of anyone. That's why I'm gonna pee my pants. You know who I am though? What? Bonjour, Paris. That's me when I use one of those urinal trois trois. Wow. I said the word wrong, but you. The urinal trois trois. I gotta see it again. I love the urinal trois trois. Urinal trois trois. It's the year of trois trois. I, it's it is. Year of trois trois. 2018. This would, uh, I mean, I guess this wouldn't be me per se, but this is what this reminds me of. It's my dick in a box. <laughs> if you like our videos and you like what this week fuck and you want to support us, you can go to Patreon BB. Patreon is a tipping and reward site that keeps these free videos free. <laughs> <laughs> but you get extra things like right now, again, I'll mention we are live streaming these episodes. Say hi to the BBs. Ooh, saying hi. Hey. What's up? They're hanging out with us and they get to see all the behind the scenes activity and ridiculousness that you don't, so. And there's a lot because my brain doesn't really function at 100 all the time. If anything, I think people will finally understand why I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of empathy for Tanjus. Yeah, I think probably if you become a Patreon, Patreon, if you become a patron right now, you can just go watch the recorded live stream and, you know, watch the fuckery. That's wow, amazing, amazing. Hey. So we want to give an extra special to Miss Shannon Lemon. Miss Shannon la 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 Lemon. We want to say thank you and a to Elijah Lenahan. Wow. Elijah la 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 Lenahan. All of our richest BBs are the ones with L names. I know. We got to add an L for the next one. Heather Snitch. Oh, there is L. There are la 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 loides. Heather, keep my name out of your fucking mouth, Snitch. Oh, I forgot to say 11 a hand. 11 a hand. No, we're going back. Hey la 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 lady Madeline. That was so many. H Haley. That was a stretch. Haley, I'm excited for your new novel, Madeline. Yes. Ooh, we got several authors. We have many authors. <laughs> they don't know that they're authors yet, but they are. Thank you, BBs, for being in the sweet spot. We also want to say thank you to BB, 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 new BB alert. BB. Ash N. <gasps> hey. Wow. Look at that. Ash N. Um, I mean, when you put Ash and N together, it sounds like Ashen. Ashen. 
So, and then you kind of remind me of like a vampire from like a teen novel, Ooh. like a hot one. Maybe who plays tennis in the daytime. Wow. Oh wait, they got us. You gotta have a special ring it's though, because the sun. Okay, we've already written this fan fiction together, I guess. Thank you, Carissa Maybin. Wow, Carissa Maybin, the love of my life. Maybin. 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 Candy B B B B B. Wow, ca Candy. Oh my God, Candy, the BB of all BBs, B. Wow, how dare you have B in your name? Damn. Amazing. JB Terpsichore. Wow, JB. JBB, I do something great with your life, Terpsichore. <laughs> Courtney Holt. Courtney got a hold to my heart. Uh, Cole Faria. It's Cole in my Faria. Emily Eldridge. Emily, um, I feel like you live by a babbling brook, Eldridge. <laughs> Working on the the, uh, the third installment oh, yeah, to the your, third, for sure. your novel series. Is that what it's called, a novel series? <laughs> Pam Gallegos. Uh, Pam, I want to wrap you in my kisses with Gallegos. <laughs> William Harvey. <laughs> William, take no shit, Harvey. Jeremy Shaw. Jeremy Shawshank Redemption. See, I can look at Jeremy Shaw. Wow, right we're now. looking at him right Jeremy now. You don't even know. And Tarika Santiago. Where in the world is Tarika Santiago? And and where Tarika Santiago right now is in Los Angeles on vacation. We know that from, <laughs> know that from the chat. Yeah. <laughs> and you would know that too if you were in the chat. Just wow. Saying. We also have BBs that are popping up that uh, we we like them and we like their names. We're Love not going to say them, but we like them. Yeah. And then there are all these ghost BBs that haven't pledged yet that we're waiting to come to fruition. So yeah. come to us. Thank yes. you. Yes. Please come. And that's all we have for you today. So thank you for joining us. If you want to join our Patreon and become an official BB, please go to patreon.com slash whatthesweetfuck. Maybe if you pay us enough money, I'll stop looking at myself in the viewfinder. Or not the what viewfinder, if we just, in, the, in the reflection. What if we just... But I'm always so scared that it's going to like turn off and I won't know. You're right. I know. That also scares... Oh, she's flashing. Of, oh, yeah, exactly. First oh, shit. Of all, first of all, no. You're so basic. It's flashing the time, it's not the battery that's flashing. See, this is why you can't be trusted to look at things. First of all, if you looked as adorable as I do, you'd like be looking me? at your, no, you, you look right there. You'd be looking at yourself in this too. I mean, have you seen these little, they look like little teardrops. I mean, that's not how they look when my bra's off, but you know, they look like a fucking rainstorm. Someone actually, dumping a bucket of water out. <laughs> actually, you know what the greatest joy of my life in my 30s is like now I've slept with men that consistently have told me how great my tots are. And I didn't feel that way when I was growing up because I, I developed very early and I remember being like 12 or 13 and trying to do the pencil test where you put a pencil under mm -hmm. to see and I was like, okay, it still, it falls out so I guess I don't have saggy boobs because that I knew that was like a bad thing to have. I didn't then. even know that. It's a lot, you get, you're, you get fucked up. I got no as titty as a, as a uh, privilege. Yeah, titty privilege all over. Yeah, it's a privilege, yeah. I'll tell you. <laughs> well, I got, I got I got no titty privilege. No titty privilege, yeah, that's true. I guess there's titty privilege, too. Oh, that is true, yeah, yeah. amongst the titties. The size amongst, of the titties, amongst the kind the of titties. titties, depending on what culture tells us is accessible and great. Correct, yes. Yeah, so which culture are we talking about? <sighs> yeah, what time in history are we talking about? Mm -hmm. What day yeah. of the fucking week? Yeah, no, 100%. I'm Nicole Foto. You can find me most places at Soundly Awake. I'm Megan Tonjus. You can find me most places at... Tonjus or Megan Tonjus or fucking, I don't know, Google me. Find me. Yeah. Hi. Go watch the other episode on youtube.com slash Tonjus. That's true. Channel. Wow. That's it. That's it. That's all we got for you. Right. Pieces. Bye. Bye. Bye.